Hello, and thank you so much for coming to this lightning talk about the Hives Research Workshop and Speaker Series Multiply Accessible Buzz Zine. I'm Michael Stokes, one of the co-founders of the Hives Research Workshop and Speaker Series. Unfortunately, the other co-founder of Hives, Jessica Stokes, is unable to join us today. To begin, Hives is an ongoing scholarly, artistic, and communal organization dedicated to developing an understanding of the ways in which matter and beings function in interdependent networks. Hives is an engagement with hive minds, relationality and interdependence across and within human animal divides. This means we work with graduate students in our own program, as well as other workshops, organizations, departments, and local, national, and international communities. The one image on the screen currently is the Hives logo, which is a series of white hexagons over a stylized, all capital version of the word Hives. I'd love to tell you everything that Hives has been up to for the last two years, but in this brief window, I'm afraid I can only scratch the surface. Suffice to say, we engage in pedagogy workshops, host speakers, and create accessible art in local and national endeavors. To find out more, please visit beehives.org. That's B, like Hamlet's favorite verb, with one E, H-I-B-E-S dot O-R-G. We'd also like to give you a brief overview of what zines are for those of you who may not have experienced them at concerts, art shows, or been handed them in residential colleges. The images on the screen are currently of some of the events that Hives has taken on. Historically, zines have been a cheap format to spread ideas and community. Early zines were a way for fans of science fiction to rank favorite stories, to propagate fan theories, and to form social groups. However, they sometimes served as gatekeep uh, served gatekeeping functions and limited participation in science fiction communities, upholding some often white male voices while erasing others. The image on the screen is the cover of one of the earliest science fiction zines, The Comet, uh, created by the Science Correspondence Club. However, in the decades since, zines have been used to make space for people whose ideas and voices have been suppressed in their own subcultures. For example, the Riot Girl zines that pushed back against the male-driven punk world of the past. Our project, The Buzz Zine, seeks to make space for scholarship, poetics, and art that challenge notions of the boundaries and definitions of each of these genres, while reimagining accessibility and community. For the first ever volume of The Buzz Zine, we had contributors from as young as teens to re retired professors and everywhere in between, in and out of the university space from Boston to California. The Buzz Zine is a collaboration of 17 contributors, including commentary, collage, short stories, a play, paintings, and poetry. The submissions are loosely themed around the notions of the human, human and more than human animal relations, and questions on the limits of representation, and an embrace of the affective and embodied possibilities and pains in the overlap and tensions of disability studies and animal studies. In order to maintain the spirit of cheap or free and easy access to zines, our major project was to find ways to make this as accessible as possible to as many people as possible. The image on the screen is one of the cover images of the buzz zine featuring several insects crawling across the words buzz zine in front of a series of magazine stamps. In order to make this project accessible, the buzz zine has several iterations. First, as a large print Google document, Second, as a digital tagged PDF file that can be downloaded from the Hives website, and online as well as an HTML web page that is encoded with alt text and heading technology. It is also available as a printed paper copy and as a two volume braille set with all images described in text. Through the project of the Buzz Zine, Hives hopes to be able to model a multiplicity of ways to make art and make art accessible across multiple communities using the broad range of technologies that digital humanities offer. The digital versions of the zine can be found at beehives.org and I'll put a link in the chat momentarily. The images on the screen are the logo for the Google document page, a PDF logo, and a stack of other forms of zines. Thank you all so much for your time.